Um, where, when I talk to you, like, because what, obviously when you come on a show, people might be like, oh, he's got to seem super animated because he, you know, he works on the show. And he's got, but talking to you backstage, you know, like before we go on, you are genuinely excited about, about the stuff that you're doing. And you, and I feel like you always want to tell me more than you're allowed to tell me. I, I wish I could. I mean, I'm, I'm so excited about the show. I love the show. I love the people we work with. We have a great cast, great team of writers, producers. And I really think we're in the zone on this one. I, I feel like it, it's it's exciting, and we keep pushing each other. And can we do this? Can we do that? And even just the zombie gags. You know, I'll call Greg and say, you know, has this ever been done in a zombie movie before? Have we ever seen this? And he'll say, no. Okay, great. We're going with it. And it's just it's just a lot of fun to write. Torrid zombie love scene. Yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> How, because obviously anyone who's read the comics knows that there's some really terrible things that befall these people. Yeah. So how, how, how true can you stick to the, <laughs> the depths of the horribleness that happens to these people? Is there some stuff you're like, oh, well, yeah, well, maybe we can't do that on television. Or is it pretty much like, you know, we're going to try this and hope, hope that AMC lets well, it go through? It's a couple of things. I think, one, it's, it's about staying true to the spirit of the comic book. You know, it's about um, staying raw, visceral, uh, you know, bringing it every week. That's something we want to do. That's certainly true in the comic book, every, every issue. And, uh, and we have a lot of time to do it. We, we, we want to, you know, have these new characters and, and, and uh, develop them to make sure that they're fully realized and, and have people invested. And then when you see incredible stuff happen to them, to them uh, you know, it, it's scary and it hurts, and I think that's part of where we ended up at the end of last season, and that's what we're going to continue to do. So, obviously, you have an announcement. I'm sure people want to know when. So, do you uh, want to yeah, I would like to uh, make an announcement that we are back Sunday, October 14th at 9 p.m. Woo! That's just a few months. It's not that long. It feels like Comic Con 2011 was like a week ago. So, I think just waiting a few more months to October will be great. Uh, was there anything else that you wanted to add to that? Um, hopefully a lot of you are also from countries around the world. Uh, we've got fans in Fox International's 122 countries, 35 languages, and the new season will roll out uh, starting the very next day, October 15th, and will have premiered throughout the rest of the world the rest of that week. So get ready for a lot of dead. Dios mios, los zombies! <laughs> um, you, uh, <laughs> probably don't say that. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> one of them. Uh, but we also have, uh, right now, before we bring out the, uh, some very special people here that I know that you, uh, that you lined up to see, we have a very special clip, you guys. This is a first look exclusive yeah! to you, Paul H. And what we wanted to do is, I don't know, you know, when you watch the show, what we give away every once in a while is an opportunity for someone to have their head cast and uh, my team turns them into a walker so you get a bust made of you and it's, you come to my studio, we cast your head. So I was zipping through these 6,000 so people earlier and, uh, and saw a woman that, that I, I think uh, would be fantastic and her name is Lorena Gonzalez. Wherever Where's Lorena Gonzalez? Is. Don't get Sal Lorena Gonzalez. So, uh, <laughs> she's right there. And what? so she's going to come, she uh, is going to come to the shop and we're going to make a zombie bust of her. That's awesome. Congratulations. Lucky. Uh, well done. I've just been told we have time for one more question. So uh, let's go to that one more question. Wow, that's serious. Okay, I might have a quick shout out to Norman. You're so kind to your fans on Twitter and it's so appreciated. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. And my question is, why do you write the women on this show so scary? They creep up to the men saying, you should kill Shane, he thinks I'm his, or it's a dictatorship take over. Why don't they ever do it themselves? I'm trying. Oh, wait see this season. Um, yeah, Was that for Robert or for, for Norman? Um, <laughs> for the writers with the women. Oh, okay, because you were talking about Norman. They're like, Norman, how come you write the show? We're like, what? That's not how that works. Uh, that's a great idea. Maybe they will. We'll see? see? I, the I, system I, works! <laughs> and you know, for, for what it's worth, I think, it, since you bring up a specific uh, 
scene. Um, I think Lori did everything she could to handle shame. And she did everything she could um, to manage that situation. And she only brought it to Rick. She didn't tell him to kill him. She told him to watch his back. And she was right, because Shane tried to kill him. And the right man ended up winning that fight, because she warned her husband. Oh, shit. Right That's a good answer. I think that is, a, that is a great way to end the discussion portion of this panel. But I feel like, if you guys are up for it, uh, we should just probably watch the trailer one more time. Yeah. Before we Time, uh, and then we'll say goodbye. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Jessica, and um, I love Steven. Hi. He's blushing. He just turned red. <laughs> 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 to meet you, young lady. Uh, what is your question? My question is, um, if you're stuck in a real-life apocalypse, um, how, how do you think your chances of our surviving? Me personally, or all of us? Um, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's awesome. Kids are awesome. Uh, this is the greatest uh, question ever. Uh, can we get her on our show? Um, <laughs> you know, the chance of me surviving, um, I'm, uh, I can be resourceful, but also I'm sometimes um, uh, a little lazy, so, uh, you know, it depends how it all works out. I think I answered this before, but um, it, if, if the situation calls that there are a lot of attractive women around and just me I'll stay but <laughs> in six years in, yeah in a while in a, in a little while uh, uh, I was gonna say scouting but that's a terrible thing yeah no. that's a terrible thing uh, uh, but uh, yeah um, and if not if there's just a bunch of bros uh, we'll just just, you know, well, maybe I'll just lay down and let one bite me, so. <laughs> if you're playing, you're like, ah, what a sausage party here to see my face. <laughs> Stick around for this. <laughs> what, a, what a weirdo apocalypse plan. Well, yeah, if you don't stick around, we're like, that are so dudes. apocalypse. There's only dudes. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird to stand up. <laughs> thank you, porn thank star you, girl. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> what is your name, sir? My name is Richard, and I have a question for Robert. Uh, Daryl being such a popular character, would, would you ever consider him being a character in the comic book? Never. <laughs> no. No, I mean, uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, there's, I, I have the story in the comic book plotted out for, for quite a long time, and, you know, working something new in that is, uh, you know, it's, it, uh, I'm just going to say thank you for asking a question. <laughs> you can't say, I mean, you know, without, without going into too much detail, but things, you know, we've talked before about things that happened in the comic book, and I go, wow, did you, you know, how, how, when did you think of that? And you're like, oh, that was two years ago. Like, we, you really mapped out the arc of the comics, you know, way in advance. Yeah, and I mean, I have, you know, a chance to, like, you know, change course and do different things every now and then, but for the most part, I, you know, I'm working way ahead. Yeah. All right. Hi, what's your name and what's your question? Hi, my name's Madeline, and I'm also in love with Steven. <laughs> well, we know your demographic now, Steve. <laughs> and we know that you should not be allowed at Legoland. <laughs> I'm going to just throw you into the Twilight panel. <laughs> I, I want you to, um, maybe, yeah, 
Thank you very much. Man, I'm so red right now. <laughs> what is your question, young lady? I was wondering who is most like the character in the show and who is the least like the character in the show. Okay, yeah, really quickly if we go down, that's a good question. Let's start with Andrew.